Hello everyone, I am Shivam Pasari and welcome to ASEN Academy. Now, in this video, we will learn everything about triangles, starting from what is a triangle, the types of triangle and three other important terms related to a triangle that is an altitude, a median and the centroid of the triangle. So without wasting any further time, let's begin with the topic. Let us first understand what is a triangle. So a triangle is basically a plane figure bounded by all three sides. So by the definition of the triangle, we can see that the triangle has three sides. Now over here, the shape that we have is a triangle, which is named ABC. Now, as you can see that this triangle has three sides, AB, AC and BC. Now a triangle has three angles, which are angle A, angle B and angle C. There are certain properties about the sides and angles of a triangle, so let's understand them one by one. Now, before moving to the properties, let us name the sides of the triangle. You can call them as AB, BC and CA respectively, but you can name them to other variables for a better usage. So I will name AB as X, BC as Y and AC as Z. And I would keep the angles as angle A, angle B and angle C respectively. Now let's check the properties. So moving on to the first property, it says that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. So I can write it as X plus Y will always be greater than Z. Y plus Z will always be greater than X and X plus Z will always be greater than Y. So let me repeat the property again that says that the sum of any two sides of the triangle will always be greater than the third side and if the shape does not follow this property then it is not a triangle. Now let's move to the second property of the triangle which says that the sum of the angles of a triangle will always be equal to 180 degree. So I can say that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. If the triangle is of any kind or any shape, if it is a triangle, then it must follow this property because if it doesn't, then it is not a triangle. This is a very important property of the triangle because if you are solving a question on this topic, then I can assure you that you will be requiring this topic. So I would repeat that the sum of the angles of the triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. Now, before moving ahead, there are two other basic rules for forming a triangle. That is that the length of any side must be greater than zero and the angle of a triangle must be also greater than zero and less than 180 degrees. Now, these were the basic points that you require to understand what is a triangle. And now let's move on to the next topic. Our next topic is types of triangles and our first case is on the basis of sides. So on the basis of sides, we have three triangles that is equilateral, isosceles and scalene triangle. And let's review the properties of each one, one by one. First kind of triangle that we have is an equilateral triangle. So for an equilateral triangle, we have only two properties that is all the sides of an equilateral triangle are equal and the second property is that all the angles of an equilateral triangle are equal and all of them are of 60 degrees. You may have noticed this rotated hyphen kind symbols and these are to indicate that the sides are equal. You can also give two or three slashes as of your choice but if you are using one, two or three then you have to make sure that you are using the same throughout the triangle. The next triangle that we have is an isosceles triangle and for this too we have only two properties that is any two sides of an isosceles triangle are equal and the angles contained by the equal side and the other side are equal. If I name the sides as A, B and C, so the angles contained by A and C and B and C must be equal. Now 
Now the third type of triangle on the basis of sides is the scalene triangle. This is the most distorted type of triangle because if I name the sides as x, y and z and the angles as a, b and c, then for a scalene triangle x is not equal to y which is not equal to z. So none of the sides are equal which implies that all of the sides of a scalene triangle are different in length and angle A is also not equal to angle B which is also not equal to angle C which implies that none of the angles of a scalene triangle are equal. So you can easily understand that why it is called as the most distorted type of triangle. On the basis of shape we have three types of triangle which are acute angle triangle, right angle triangle and an obtuse angle triangle. So let's discuss the properties of each kind of triangle one by one. The first kind of triangle that we have is an acute angle triangle. Now for an acute angle triangle we only have one property that is that none of the angles of the acute angle triangle are greater than 90 degree which means that all the angles of the acute angle triangle are less than 90 degree. So I can say that angle A is less than 90 degrees, angle B is less than 90 degrees and angle C will always be less than 90 degrees. So all the angles of an acute angle triangle are less than 90 degree and this is the only property for an acute angle triangle. Now the second kind of triangle we have is a right angle triangle and for this too we only have one property that is that any one angle of the right angle triangle will be of 90 degrees. Now for the right angle triangle we have a very famous theorem that is the Pythagoras theorem and I have made a separate video upon that topic and I have explained everything that you need to understand the topic Pythagoras theorem and I have provided the link down in the description. So after watching this video, if you are interested to know what is Pythagoras theorem, you can go watch that video too. Now the last kind of triangle that we have in types of triangle is an obtuse angle triangle and for this triangle too, we have only one property that is any one angle of an obtuse angle triangle will be greater than 90 degree but it will always be less than 180 degrees. So I will repeat myself again that for an obtuse angle triangle any one angle will be greater than 90 degree but it will always be less than 180 degrees. Now that was all for the types of triangle and if you are given any triangle then it will surely fall under any of the six kinds of triangles that we have just learned. Our next topic is the median of a triangle. So median of a triangle is basically the line joining the midpoint of any side to the opposite vertex. In this case we have the midpoint of BC, let us assume it to be D, joined to the opposite vertex A by a line. So I can say that AD is the median to the side BC. So if in any question it is given that a line is a median to a side, you can say that the median divides the side into two equal parts. In a triangle we have three medians, one from each vertex. So for A we have AD, for B we have BE and for C we have CF. And the point of intersection of these three medians is known as the centroid of the triangle and let us discuss some more points about the centroid of the triangle. So let's learn more about this topic. Now we have taken a better representation so that you will understand this concept better. Now the centroid of the triangle is the intersection of the medians. Now I will name the medians as AD, BE and CF. The centroid of the triangle divides the median in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So I can say that AG is to GD is equal to 2 is to 1. And it is same for the rest of the cases 
the centroid of the triangle divides all the medians in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Now our next topic is altitude of the triangle. Now altitude is just an another term for the height of the triangle and it is generally represented by the letter H. Just like median of the triangle we have three altitudes so one is from B and the other is from C. Point of intersection of the altitudes of the triangle is called as the orthocenter of the triangle. For a triangle it is not necessary that all the altitudes may be of same length. So for a given triangle we can have all the altitudes of same length and of different length too. That was all for this video and if you have any doubt then you can post it down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. I have also provided the link to the official website of ASIN Academy down in the description so you can go check that out too. And I hope that you enjoyed this lecture and if you did then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy. Ah!